Well, Economic Empowerment for Women is an organization um, that's been around for 15 years. And what we do is we run business and empowerment programs for women throughout the country, mostly from low-income, poorer backgrounds, peripheral groups, uh, both geographically and socially. Women who really don't have much of a chance anymore in the workforce, as it is now, either because of their age or background or family circumstances or, or other reasons. And uh, we see and we feel that joining our program is really, in many instances, the last chance of becoming uh, economically independent. What we do is we run a course, a flagship course called Business of One's Own, which is a course that runs between a year and a year and a half and is composed of several stages in which the women um, undergo a process of uh, personal empowerment and receive tools of how to begin a business. First of all, we team up with local municipalities and local social workers who know the women, the local women who, who need this program. And once we form a group, we begin a training where the women first uh, start with an introductory stage, seeing what it means really to begin a business, what it takes, what you need, see if they, if they can really go through with this. And then the two other stages are more advanced process while they're beginning their business, personal accompaniment, giving in a business plan, helping with the financial literacy terms, um, marketing, branding, working with banks, every aspect that's necessary to begin a business. And we follow up and by the end of our program, approximately 40% of the women who began the program have businesses, working businesses. והעמותה מאוד עזרה לי איך, איך לפתוח עסק, כי אני הייתי כל הזמן, כל החיים שלי הייתי עובדת משרד חינוך, אז לא התעסקתי בכספים והוצאות, הכנסות, ואיך לחשב נקודת איזון וכל מיני, אז העמותה עזרה לי מאוד, וגם קבוצת אנשים תומכת. ואחת מעודדת את השנייה, וככה אנחנו יכולים להוביל שינוי. Sometimes the transformation is amazing. We speak to women, I mean, I, I, personally, I've been, if I go with donors maybe to see what's going on, and I could go maybe at different, different um, points in the program, I've been to programs where the first meeting, women didn't even open their mouth, were really afraid to speak, and then you see them at the last program and they're standing up and they're telling about themselves and they're telling about their business. So as far as self-confidence goes and self-importance, I really... Sometimes the transformation is amazing, and that, of course, is a little bit more difficult to track. And I was here because I knew the side of the humanity, and it's important to me to share the humanity, that my dreams, that my dreams will be outside the world. And here we give them a lot of tools to work, how to work, how to work, and 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 how to work. התוכנית פה מאוד עוזרת לי, כי היא נותנת קודם כל עזרה ותמיכה לנשים פה מבחינת מוטיבציה וגם מבחינה מעשית, איך לנהל את העסק וגם איך לשווק את עצמי, איך להתקדם הלאה, איך ב- באינטרנט, בפייסבוק, כל הדברים האלה ביחד. But it's something, it's enough. A lot of the women that were on welfare aren't on welfare anymore. And so they come to us also because we come from an ideological place where, where we realize these women want, need these services to survive and can't always pay for them. So like I said, they pay a symbolic fee just so they're committed because we know that this is how it works. Last year, I went to this uh, uh, seminar at the EEW that was talking about the, the way to write for markets. I think it's called market writing. We were talking about how to um, write about myself. There was this page at the site that is talking about the, the owner of the business, who I am. And I came home and immediately I sat at my computer, sat down and changed everything that was written there and made it so much um, uh, communicative and, and uh, presentative. And it was, I didn't even know I had that problem that it wasn't written properly. But as soon as I got that uh, knowledge, I went and changed it. 
Our target population is Jewish and Arab. About 30 to 35 percent of the participants are Arab, and about the um, yeah, other 65, 70 percent is uh, are Jewish. Just because all these women fall into the category of women in Israel um, who who need this program to become independent. Um. She and I get the bar of it. Man, I saw how much the thought for how for you, the other in. She's a woman, me, she ain't a talk, not me, she law. As who me talk, not a lady, and she machering. She's a gum, you hold your gum by him, and she is a gum by by it. She lach, we gum by Essek. Now. A certain percent of women that fall into this category are Arab women. A certain percent are new immigrants. A certain percent um, are single mothers. Um, and all these women can come to us and take courses. And we suit the courses to the needs of specific women. So we have courses in Arabic because the, women in, the Arab women need the courses in Arabic. And we have courses for ultra-Orthodox women. And we, and we focus on things that are important for them. Uh, there. Now, most of our programs are either in Hebrew or in Arabic just because of the language barrier. But we do have some programs, like the one in Haifa, for Jews and Arabs, just because they're, both, they're all business women. And as business women, there's a lot in common, and they face the same challenges, and um, they need the same tools to survive and to develop. So our program um, serves everybody. I had my own business. Uh, it was at home. I made the uh, stained glass, uh, but it wasn't uh, so profitable. So uh, when I uh, get to the Essek Michelach, they uh, made me think again about my business and uh, to make a vision. Where do I want to see myself in five years, in ten years? And... Uh, to make goals, where do I want to, to, to be? They uh, made me think about my uh, business again. They escorted me and gave me advice how to improve my business. And now my dream came true and uh, I have a studio in an artist colony in downtown Haifa uh, I have uh, students that came, come here every week and do a beautiful works and uh, also I do, I do uh, works for uh, synagogues all over the country and uh, I enjoy it. Economic Empowerment for Women wishes to thank the St. Louis Federation for their ongoing support.